bikini and famine because of lack of faith. Faith, my fucking ass. You don't give a shit, dummy. <laughs> you fucking dumb asshole. You're Maluka. You're Hallelujah. Anyhow. Oh yeah? The king of kings and the lord of lords. The king of kings and the fucking asshole. He is love. He is love. But we are corrupted. There is no love in us. There is bitterness fucking liar. And strife in our hearts. Why? Because we're separated from the holy and righteous God. God damn foolish bastard. We are separated from the holy and righteous God whose essence of love cannot be shown in those who are unholy and unrighteous and full of envy and murder and hatred. You want to get a camera? But the fruits of righteousness are shown in peace. For those who make peace, peace with God. Yes, the Bible says in this world there'll never be peace. Even Jesus said, think not. Think not that come to send peace. I did not come to send peace, but a sword. But the sword and spirit is the word of God. And we use the word of God. We will cut the bondages of this world. In this world, there's sorrow. And the Hebrew word for sorrow means ropes and chains like you've seen in that evil possessed guy who's always coming and harassing me. But when we use the sword of the Spirit, we will cut the chains and ropes that keep us bound to this cursed earth where sins and diseases and like he said, cancer that get handed down from generation to generation and even affects our youth. But it's not God. God did not want you and I to be sick. That's why God sent his son. That's why it's written in Isaiah 53 that surely he bore our griefs and he carried our souls. Yet we did esteem his drinking, spitting of God afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our inequities. The chastisement of peace upon him and by his stripes. We are healed. And when Jesus walked the earth, they said, according to Matthew 8, 16 and 17, when the evening has come, they brought to him many that were possessed with the devil. And he cast out the spirit with his word and healed all that was sick among them. That it might be filled with spoken by Isaiah the prophet and said, his soul took our infirmities and bare our sicknesses. And 1 Peter 2, 24, Whose own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree. We being dead to sins should live unto righteousness. By his stripes we are healed. This is a physical and spiritual healing. But see, mankind separate himself from God. And the more we separate ourselves from God, the more this corrupt nation brings upon all the evils of this world. If you read Deuteronomy chapter 28, you see all the blessings that belong to the faithful, those who are in Christ Jesus. But the curse belongs to all those who don't belong to Jesus and abide in Jesus. The curse, cancer is part of the curse. That's why as much as it hurts the Lord, as much as it hurts God, as much as it hurts me and you, why kids can get sick, okay. babies, innocent okay. in our eyes. Innocent, beautiful babies in our eyes can be sick, but they belong to this cursed earth. And the curse is generational. But Christ came to cut that generation curse. That's why Galatians 3.13 says that Jesus Christ became a curse for us. For it is written, curse is everyone that gets hung in a tree. Back then, anything made out of wood was called a tree. So he hung on the cross. Why? To deliver 
you and me from this cursed earth. We all have sins, we all have sicknesses, we all have diseases. Oh, we need to grow our faith. Oh, we need to grow our faith by laying our lives down to the Lord Jesus Christ and letting the Spirit of the Lord manifest Himself in us. The Bible says there's no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus who walk not after the flesh but after the Spirit. For the law of giving life in Christ Jesus had made me free from the law of sin and death. But what the law could not do, being weak in the flesh, God sent His Son in the form of sin for flesh, for sin, to be dead in sin, in the flesh, that the righteousness of the law might be filled in us who walk not after the flesh but after the Spirit. So when we're faithful to Jesus Christ, the law doesn't belong to us, but the blessings do. He's calling unto us to be faithful to He who knew no sin, who died for us, who was faithful. All the way to death, Jesus Christ stayed obedient, obedient, all the way to death. He stayed obedient, faithful to His calling. And his calling was to die for you and me so we can live in harmony with our Creator, with our Lord, with our God, so we can be reconciled back to God. That's why Jesus came. That's why Jesus came. So we can be reconciled and separated. That means sanctified from this cursed earth with all its sins, diseases, poverty, hatred, bitterness, sicknesses like cancer. But it doesn't belong to me. The Lord healed me. I've been healed. I should not be with you now. But one day a spirit came through. From head to toe. And what should have killed me 25 years ago, I'm still speaking the word today. And it was the word that most Religious people say, you see, Paul asked three times, Paul asked three times that he'll take that you take that thorn. Lord, take this thorn. But then the Lord said, My grace is sufficient for you. In weakness you are made strong. That was the scarce the that was the scripture that the Lord gave me when I got my healing. Because I understood. I had to walk through the pain and trust that God will carry me and deliver me and set me free from the curse of the earth. And that's what Paul did. So all you religious people say, hey, see? Paul asked three times. And the Lord spoke to him and says, my grace is sufficient for you. In weakness you are made strong. But then five, six scriptures later he says to the Corinthian church, I'm ready to come back to you again. He was healed when he walked upright and he let the Lord grace carry him like I had to do when I got my healing so healing belongs to everyone healing belongs to you belongs to me what we have to do to receive it is to trust in the word of God the word that was manifested in flesh and we beheld his glory the glory of the only begotten of the Father full of grace full of truth the Word is Jesus Christ. He's the one that was manifested in the flesh. He's the one who died for you and I, for our sins to be forgiven, our transgressions to be taken, our rebellious nature to be turned. Repentance means we turn 180 degrees. We were found in the world with all its sicknesses, with all its oppressions, with all its diseases, with all its fears, with all its worries. And now, we turn around and we pick up that cross and we are free. That's why Jesus said, you should know the truth and the truth to set you free. And then Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, the life. No one comes to the Father but through me. And one of my favorite scriptures is John 3.8. The wind blows, we're with you. And you hear the sound of it. But you cannot tell where it comes from and where it's going. So, is everyone that's born of the Spirit.